As Monty Python said, and now for something completely different, this is some PC gameplay in the background and it's a little bit of World at War. Now it's going to be very scrappy what, uh, what I upload here, I'm just going to show you a few clips here and there of some decent bits that I had, some decent games and I might just prolong it a little bit, see what happens. But um, I sort of want to get better at PC. Um, playing on PC, mouse keyboard configuration, I want to get better at it. Now I haven't picked up my PS4 for something good along the, I'd say about three days, four days, and um, because I just wanted to commit to playing PC. Now I've kind of got hooked and I'm actually got not too bad at it, you know, I'm getting used to the um, moving my fingers around where they should do. It's it's like a, it's like love making. If you leave it for too long, you think, oh god, what did I do before? And then when you get into it, you think, ah oh, yes, like riding the bike, it starts coming screaming back to you. Um, it's just a little bit more difficult and I've started to understand it a little bit more where the fingers have to go and what buttons you have to click and your reactions and you know what sensitivity you have to have your mouse and I know there'll be some hardened PC players watching this going oh terrible too sensitive not sensitive enough the fact of the matter is um, I've only played on PC a few times and uh, it's it's kind of rekindling an affair that was never there really and I'm liking it you know I like what uh, I like what it has to offer but that aside my goodness me, I've only got World at War and I've got a Call of Duty 4 on PC. Those are the only two Call of Duty games I've got on PC. And I'll, I'll get to uh, I'll get to where this commentary is going a little bit later on. But everybody is fucking hacking! <laughs> Why are there so many hackers and modders and aimbots and increased health and hip firers? You know, it's like... It's like CSGO and crack, you know, people just don't aim at you, they just hit fire and everything's perfect and on point and they get triple kills. It's, uh, it's ridiculous and I know it's bullshit because I've tried doing it myself with steady aim and you just don't get the, uh, you don't get the desired results as these guys do get, it's just bizarre. Now I've been, um, the, re the reason I'm actually doing this is because I'm trying to vary my spectrum of gaming to the next level, you know, instead of just being console. I'm, uh, I'm trying to get better at this, so I've got more of an option to uh, things to throw up here because there's so many PC games on Steam that uh, I've been messing about with. I've been playing some Dota 2 and, uh, you know, Team Fortress and things like that, and I'm having mountains of fun. But Call of Duty is grinding my gears so badly, and I just don't understand why. With the, you know, there are a few, actu there are actually a few people playing World at War in some of these servers, but everybody's just pissing about with mods and hacks, and it's really frustrating. Because, uh, you know, uh, just when you think you're starting to get better, somebody will turn whatever aimbot they've got on and you can't do anything about it, you know. They're, they're very snappy, so a lot of the shots are very snappy. Um, you, you sort of run out and into the open from this building and you're dead instantly. And you watch the kill come and this guy's just snapped straight onto you. Tossers, basically, <laughs> is all I've got to say. And this frustrates me quite a lot because once upon a time, um, not once upon a time, actually in a few commentaries I've mentioned that I've got a, a varied respect for PC players because it's obviously a lot more difficult to do than just picking up a controller and getting used to that. However, my respect for PC players has gone down quite a bit after playing World of War and Call of Duty 4 because I just think, you know, if you have to employ those modifications and if you have to hack in order to get some kind of a game, what does that say about you? And I know not everybody does it, but it feels like everybody does it. I know there are some pretty good players out there. I've, uh, I've come across a few who you can tell they're legitimately good. And you know, so many people as this, you know, over the last few years while I've been doing YouTube have been saying, come over to the side of PC and try it out. You'll love it. And it's not sort of measuring up to what I want. I know what I want and I know the experience I want to um, I want to enjoy it. It's just not there. It's like somebody saying, hey, you're going to that nightclub. No, that nightclub's no good. Come to this nightclub. Here, there's a there's a little business card of the nightclub. It's fantastic. The women are beautiful. And you think, oh, okay, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to put on my best suit and I'm going to go there and bust out some dad moves. And you get there and the women are all over you and it's like, yeah, this is good. And then you find out it's just full of trannies. <laughs> That's what it feels like. It's like I'm at a nightclub of trannies and I've been duped into something that wasn't actually what I thought it was. So I'm really pissed off and disappointed about this. But as I said before, there is a point why I'm getting to this. I want to know if there are any PC players out there because I've, I've read reviews and stuff and it doesn't look good. Are there any good Call of Duty games that are not hacked and sort of playable? You know, that doesn't feel like I'm playing against Johnny Chan from Bloody Endo China and he's 6,000 ping. You know, I just want to know, is there a game? You know, Modern Warfare 2, what's that like? Call of Duty Ghosts even, what is that like? 
it, are any of these games playable and is there enough people on these servers to play and enjoy it and if not what should I play what are the good first person shooters I have discovered one actually which I'm gonna sort of do a review on and um, it might open the eyes to a lot of people who didn't know about this game I have been pointed in the direction of this game I won't mention it now I'm gonna keep it on the down low but um, <laughs> people have said you should try this game out and I've tried it and I like it if anybody can tell me of any Call of Duty games or any first person shooters that I you know will happily invest some money into because that's the thing you know I don't mind these free to play things but I don't want to invest money into something and come out of it with a sense of eh, you know <laughs> a feeling of what happened there you know it's like hey you know what the future is invest your money into ice and sell it over the internet and it all sounds good and then you invest money and then it just melts so please let me know I'd be intrigued thanks for watching guys Apocalypse done.